and Temezo. You fucking phantom. I've been chasing you for three goddamn years. You do life for this, Tom. Maybe you in the chair. You don't want the guy who was punching tickets. You want the guy who was handing them out. So that's what this has been all about, huh? You offering up Salieri. The nuns' books. The ones Frank stole. I have them. They're enough to put Salieri away forever, and they're yours. Assuming we have a deal. My family. For the Don. You recognize anyone? Look again. Old man that's Don Popone, two younger lads of Morello and Salieri. Yeah. Okay, I see it. That must be what? 1920? April. Morello's wedding. Salieri was the best man. What? Jesus. They're just kids. Now they're Eddie's soldiers in Popone's mob. So what happened? How did they go from being best mates to Morello on a slab? I don't know. I didn't even know they were friends. <laughs> That's crazy. You don't know could fill up the fucking crash they're building. In 22, Papone drowns up at the lake. Right? In order to keep things running smoothly, Salieri and Morello created Debbie up the city. Yeah, I heard the story, so what? Well, their friendship should have made the deal work, but... Didn't make a lick of difference. After Morello, Salieri was beaming, thinking we ran the whole damn town. Me, I was just happy the war was over. But then I got to thinking about something. What good? It was all of Morello's money if we couldn't protect him from a regular Joe like me. Cabby, for Christ's sake. It only got him one thing. A great big bullseye in his fucking forehead. And that thought... It just kept turning round and round in my head until one day... I'm looking in a mirror. I start seeing a bullseye too. Right here. Dry your tears of the water hundreds, do you? I wasn't about to give up the good life, I know that. I just told myself that I, I was smarter than Morello. That I wouldn't turn around one day and find Polly or Sam could point a gun at my head. The thing is, you don't see it. When you're out on the street, scrapping, fighting for your life, and the guy next to you isn't just your partner, He's your brother. You'd stick a knife in someone for your brother, right? But at night, you lie awake, wondering what he and Adam were whispering about behind the bar. Wondering if your best friend is hungry enough to betray you. Mmm. So that's I'm guessing that's like maybe Samuel Pauly's gonna betray him. Election campaign. Any trouble? No bus, no trouble at all. Got something else for me? All these feels a little light. There's a little extra in mind to cover the difference. Oh, he's pissed you ever off. Go swimming, Tom? He's pissed off. Been to the shore a few times, sure. I knew a couple of guys once. Took some dames out to the lake. Had a few beers, a few laughs. Then one of them decides to go in the water. Gets to the center of the lake. 
and realizes he's running out of steam. Can't make it back in. He starts shouting for help. Now, the other guy, he's a strong swimmer. He goes out in the lake to drag his buddy back to shore. Problem is, the first guy, the one too stupid to know when the water's too deep for him, he panics. Grabs his friend by the neck, and they both go under and don't come up again. Paulie's your friend. And I know you're loyal to him. And I respect that. But don't you ever pay his tab again. Okay, boss. Good. Now, we gotta talk about this Turnbull. The guy running for governor? The same. He's been flapping his gums a lot about cracking down on our businesses. <laughs> That's rich. He spent more on whores than Polly and Sam combined. <laughs> you want me to pay him a visit? Maybe put him on a take? No. You can't trust a hypocrite, Tom. We need to end his campaign aspirations, and in a way that keeps anyone from stepping up to the same platform. Vinny, have a plan then? Of course. Turnbull's holding a rally near Central Island. The spot he picked is hard to reach and out in the open. Should have a beautiful view of the rally from the tower of the old prison. From there, you'll give Turnbull a third eye. Okay. I'll go see Vinny about the gun. But don't forget, you only got one shot. You miss, and his crew will usher him out of there quick. I'm the best shooter you got. Otherwise, you'll be talking to someone else. And get it done. Hey, He's... handsome. <laughs> Ladies. You're wasted on that wife of yours. You know that? Uh. He'll never look our way. He's a good boy. Hey. Vincenzo, talk to me. Hey, Tommy. Boss says you got something for me. Yeah, I got a shipment in from a guy at Fort Stanmore. Now, Salieri wants this to run like clockwork, so no heat to the guy's head bursts. I hit little Tony, stash one of these, where you need it. So, up high in the old prison? Yeah. Family's got a lot of history in that place. Hoods who live there now ain't so classy. So watch yourself. Little Tony locked the rifle up tight in a room with a view. Up on the top floor. Sick of that politician shit in the papers, Tommy. We own this town now. Right between the eyes, huh? Find a way inside and make for the guard tower. The top deck is locked. That's what the key's for. Hey, got it. Hang on, I, I feel sick after that milkshake. We care for this city and for each and every customer that comes through our door. We want the best for them and their families, and that's why this message is a little different. In recent years, our city has fallen prey to criminal elements, and only one man has shown that he has the strength and the moral fortitude required to once again allow the people to walk the streets without fear, with hope in their hearts. That man, Hank Turnbull. Too sweet, yeah. It's very, very filling. He had a lot of whipped cream on it. ...has compelled him to step into the breach once more. And we could have no finer champion in the governor's mansion than Hank Turnbull. He'll bring all his experience to bear on the criminals that have made our streets their playground. Proven in the battlefield that is the 27th Congressional District, Mr. Turnbull will be tough on crime and tough on the systemic corruption that plagues our state. We are lucky in the extreme to have such a warrior against Griff stepping back on the field in our time of need. 
he receives the full backing and endorsement of the Behringer family and Behringer's department store. Behringer's department store and Hank Spencer, leading the way for a... I need a moment. I'm sick. said you wanted the guard tower. Bade me to mark the way with this sign. Folks go through the sewer. Only way to then just keep heading up. Okay. Hey! Get out there! We ain't going nowhere! Turn around! Green sign. Who is that guy? Have you seen my rat? <coughs> 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 Get a job, ya bum. Someone's coming true. No, well, you ain't one of us. You're not welcome. I'm warning you, mister. I came from that way. I don't see the green sign. Oh, here it is. in heaven penitentiary entry and exit procedure where is the matter now the prison's abandoned bro can i just open that thing please Thank you. I'm surprised the game doesn't punish you for hitting NPCs. Who knocked out this guy?
chance. Best decision you ever made. How do I get in there? Oh, I'll go around. I see it. Where do I go? drop <clears throat> is this a prison yes yeah, an abandoned prison Getting to the tower to get a sniper and kill a politician. Basically. Give me gun, give me gun, give me gun. I 
I need to get out there. Quick, 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 quick. That door's open. Go ahead, Gio. Oh shit, you just got back, right? How was that? He's just standing out in the open. Where am I getting shot from? It's been chilling, man. Oh, I shot the wrong guy. Only five star wanted, little mate. Get the wrong way. I lose a five star. It popped my tire. Bro, this is insane. I was about to go out. Pause out. Pause out. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me.
I need a new car. What the hell is this? Steal the ice cream van, mate. That's because I tabbed out. It's fine. One star is better than five. Yep. Yeah. Do you have work tomorrow? Because um, I had a milkshake. I, I, I drank half of it and I just threw up. It was just so sweet. <clears throat> Put it right here, look. Drank half of it, I threw up. I had to go walk it off, man. Dude, you know what? I, I need to start my gym up, man. It's getting really, really bad. It's quick and easy as well, you know? I don't know. Wait, this is my home? I'm living large. Did you hear about this Turnbull? Heard he was crooked as the day is long. It says in the paper he's going to be remembered for fighting to pass the 19th Amendment. Put his whole career on the line for it. Which one was dead again? Who dead the guns? Suffrage, you idiot. Oh. He gave me the right to vote, Tom. Gave it to his wife and six daughters, too. Guess nobody's just one thing, are they? Guess not. I gotta go to work. <sighs> Tom. Don't do nothing you don't want to be remembered for, you hear me? Probably too late for that. <laughs> Election campaign. 